guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. My name is Jarrell Mata. Today we're going to be doing a haul, which you probably already saw by the thumbnail. Um, I did not film this look, but I did use an eyeshadow palette that I bought uh, that I'm going to show you during the haul. Um, I did not film this look because I really wanted to sit down and just play with makeup and clear my mind and disconnect completely from everything that is going on around me <laughs> um, sometimes I need those and makeup is a way for me to escape I kind of just focus on what I'm doing and I don't think about anything else but makeup and also YouTube is a really great escape for me to just talk about something that is not so serious that is just makeup and it is something fun and playful and all of that so let's go ahead and get into the video but before we do don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already you can also click on the little bell so you can get notified whenever i upload a new video which is every single week and without further ado so the first item that I'm going to show you is the eyeshadow palette that I used to create this look and let me tell you I had this whole entire look in mind with the exception of the red going on right now I wanted to use like a peachy transition shade and then go into like a deeper darker brown and then go into a deeper you know brown darker darker brown <laughs> but um yeah it didn't have it and I was like okay this is different and that is why the neon and the red is going on right now so um the eyeshadow palette that I'm talking to you about is the Norvina palette this is the new eyeshadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills it is the ABH Norvina collection and this is if I am not mistaken the volume one so they might be another palette coming our way I don't know who knows and to tell you the truth I love Anastasia Red Hills, like I love them since I discovered them a million years ago. <laughs> Feels like a million years ago. Um, so whatever they they come out with, I try to purchase. So here is the eyeshadow palette, and as you can see, it is so beautiful. However, just by looking at it, you can see that there is a lot of purple shades. Um, maroon shades there is like a brown uh, but more like towards like red brown not really true brown um, and you have a lot of reds and um, golden a golden shade and a yellow shade like this one's right here and um, to tell you the truth like truthfully speaking just in case you didn't know we tell the truth in this channel <laughs> um, I am not a true fan of purple I'm not I'm not I like purple stuff like here like the like the packaging being purple I think is gorgeous but eyeshadows I'm not really a fan of purple eyeshadows why I think it's because they're a little bit harder to work with in like deeper blues especially when there's no shimmer and there's just mattes so I'm going to have to like test this ones out and see how they are purple is not a color that I like to wear I go more for the yellow orange green um, blue but never really purple like and even though I have done like so many purple looks, it's definitely not a color that I particular me, myself, like I'm like, oh my goodness, yes, a purple look. I can't wait to do it. No, <laughs> I'm not like that. Um, but yes, with the reds, yes, with the yellows, yes, with the greens, like greens are like so awesome to me. Um, and blues I love blues and that is why I had to do something with the blue just because I really truly love blue uh, but purple eyeshadows I don't know just very cool tone very mauve -y, very I don't know cool tone maybe that's what it is um, but so far so good the pigmentation as you can see is there not the one eyeshadow this is like a little review to create this look everything worked out perfectly the pigmentation is there blendability everything was so so nice except for this white shade right here it is a true white matte shade there's no sheen to it there's nothing it's just white matte 
and to me that was a little bit hard to work with and to pack it so i had to go into this eyeshadow palette which is the first one from carnival and i had to use this eyeshadow this one right here just to pack on the lid just so it doesn't like break because it was crumbling um so yeah that's the only thing so far that i've experienced but i will tell you guys more about it um in the future if you want to see more looks using the norvina eyeshadow palette please let me know in the comment section down below but i think i talked enough about this eyeshadow palette so let's move on to the other stuff so i purchased a four of the new natasha denona i need a new lipstick and this is new lipsticks that she just came out with the boxes are so beautiful nice and rose gold i picked up the shade um natasha michelle charlotte and lyron or lyron and natasha is the one that i'm wearing right now along with the pat mcgrath lip liner that i will write down in the description area because i don't know which one i use today um but natasha 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 is perfect and nude it's not like a pinky nude or it's not like a oh my gosh it's not so cool tone it's not warm tone it's like perfect this is natasha right here all right, so this one is going to be very, very nice and interesting. It is really close to Natasha, but Natasha actually pulls a little bit more pink on me. This one is definitely more on the peachy side, and this one is Liron. So on my hand, Natasha pulls a little bit more pink, and this one right here pulls a little bit more peachy. All right, so this one is Charlotte, and this one right here, it's more on the beigey side not too pink not too peachy it's very neutral right in the middle all right so this is michelle right here and as you can see michelle is a little bit more deep but all of these shades are just gorgeous all right so the next things that i picked up at sephora was this eyebrow pencil and this one is from fenty i love brows i'm always searching for like good products for brows even though i always end up going to either my Anastasia Beverly Hill ones or the Benefit one. Those are my favorite. So it does have a really nice thin tip and it does have a brush, which is super cute, super cute. So I really like the packaging. I think it's really, really nice. I really interesting to see how the brush is going to work out for me, just because I'm really like used to a spoolie um, with my brows, but we will try it and hopefully together. I am going to be um, leaving out of town soon and I'm not going to be back until next week. So hopefully I get to show you guys when I come back. Uh, from my trip and I'll you know get into playing with all these new stuff so the next thing that I purchased from Sephora and this one was with the 20% discount that I got um, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills new eyeshadow collaboration with Jackie Ina of course I was going to get it um, one because I love Anastasia Beverly Hills like I've mentioned and two because I love I, Jackie Ina I think she is so um talented and super funny very very nice so here are the eyeshadows as you can see they are so beautiful so this one right here and these right here like these two brown shades are the ones that i was talking to you that the norbina doesn't have that's why i'm like how am i going to create a look but you know we made it work so this palette is coming with me on vacation for sure i'm not going to bring anything anything else i hope but this one is definitely going with me in this shade right here zum what oh my goodness that looks gorgeous gorgeous so i can't wait to play with this eyeshadow palette because it looks gorgeous and i can't wait to take it on the trip with me so this one right here is also from anastasia everybody hills and i wanted to try their liquid liner and this is what i got here is the eyeliner and i don't know how to use this one's in particular like i'm not really good at using a brush tip i'm more of a velt tip kind of girl so this is 
this is dangerous for me like I don't know how to do it I feel like I don't have enough precision on my hands I feel like I'm shaky and this makes it a little bit difficult but that is why I got it because I needed to challenge myself and learn how to use another type of makeup and tool and stuff like that and I'm always wearing Veltip that is just my go-to um, I'm using the Sephora one and that one is like easy easy pc lemon squeezy for me but this one's right here for some reason anything that has to do with like a brush if it's not like a pencil type of thing i am struggling but we'll see how i do with that one now these are two things from cuddly i had to repurchase because oh my goodness they are everything and more so this one right here is the vinyl perfect essence and this is amazing it makes such a huge difference whenever i wear this one and i'm consistent with it what i do i just put a little bit of drops on my hands and then i just rub them together and pat it into my face before i even go into um toner serum moisturizer and all of that um this is the first thing that i do i just love it i think it's so amazing the scent of it is also great fantastic it smells very nice soft mild but very inviting i don't know very relaxing i love it so the other product that i picked up from cuddly is this one and this is the beauty elixir for soothing glowing complexion let me tell you I already finished like three bottles of the regular one from beauty elixir this one is limited edition that's why it has a different packaging as you can see it's like pinky so beautiful um, but it does have the same scent which is my favorite it's just very again herbally super calming very very nice and I love it so this one is definitely something that I have to have with me in my skincare all the time i use it before skincare sometimes even after i apply makeup i use it um so many ways to using this one i love it and they do have the mini one so just in case you want to try it you can always try the mini one so that is it for the sephora part of it but i also wanted to share with you a couple of things that i got from colourpop as well as Lorena makeup so just in case you are not following this page right here on instagram i think you should because they are amazing especially like creating glitters and pigments and all of that all right so i picked up two pigments and then i picked up two of the glitter ones from Lorena, and she does have her website from etsy um as you can i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but this one right here is so beautiful like in the shade galaxy um this one is omnia and this one is a little bit more refined not so chunky wow it's like a green turquoise again it does have a little bit of purple but that looks so pretty more on the bluish side than purple and this one right here is just a really nice glitter like white is called sugar and this one is their newer one this one is called bonita and look how cute it is oh my gosh i'm so scared it's like a pinky champagne so yeah i have to remember to definitely use these ones in the future for future videos because i'm pretty sure you guys might want to see it especially if i wear it you know just so you can have an idea of how it performs all right so from ColourPop, i do have two boxes right here um so let's go ahead and open it up so just because i do not have enough eyeshadows in my life i decided to order five eyeshadow palettes from ColourPop. so again ColourPop is just one of those brands that i'm constantly purchasing from just because they're very affordable but at the same time they're very innovative and um, super cool and i just really like their um whole especially the nine eyeshadow palettes so this one is the strawberry shape i got the orange palette because I thought I had purchased it, but I didn't. I don't know if you saw my last video, but just in case you didn't see that one, go ahead and check it out. But I thought that I had purchased this eyeshadow palette, but I didn't. This one is the Aren't You Glad? And I also purchased the Brown Sugar palette. So the last eyeshadow palette that I purchased is their newer one, and this one is a Baby Got Peach. And I just love these nine eyeshadow palettes. I think they are just so gorgeous, and this is how it looks like. 
All right, so the next eyeshadow palette that I got is this one that has a 24 eyeshadows. Unfortunately, I do not have time to like put them in the eyeshadow palette right now. Um, it's 24 of them. I need to make sure that they are like color matching and I have a specific way of doing it. But I can't put it together at this moment and so unfortunately I cannot show it to you in the eyeshadow palette. I did not know that it was going to be sent out like separately at all um but that's the way that they did it so that's fine and no problem but i am going to take a picture of it and it's going to go in my instagram once it's ready so just in case you don't follow me on my instagram you can go ahead and follow me which is jarell underscore mata um and yeah follow me <laughs> why not so yeah that's it for the video that's it for the haul thank you so much for being here you have no idea have no idea how much i truly appreciate you coming back to my channel and just watching my videos and you know commenting and liking my videos um this is the way that i like to express myself and this is definitely a way for me to be able to do something that i enjoy that is not too hard to process um that is not sad it's not it's not you know this is fun stuff and I really truly appreciate um, you allowing me to to have this little space so please if you have family members friends anyone that you can share my channel with that might want to just hear me talk about makeup go ahead and share it that's it so yeah thank you so much once again don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and I will see you 